scratching. And all cats scratch is a natural instinct and it's really great for them. So the cat ladder is very large. It's very tall. It has six steps. So Jericho can run up and down. And cats really like to be up high because then they can survey their territory. Yes, your home is your cat's territory. It doesn't belong to you. It's his territory. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho and diet is very important. It is an essential, but let's take a break and talk about other cat essentials that cats need indoors to be happy. So when we're thinking about cat essentials to keep our cats happy, we have to think about their wild side. Cats live indoors with us, yes, but they are not as domesticated as dogs are. For example, with dogs, we've bred them to work for us, basically complete tasks for us. So they're way more domesticated and have been in our lives way longer than cats have. The only reason cats are pets is because they eat rodents and we like free pest control. So when we think about how to make our cat happy indoors, think about their wild side. They like to catch and kill prey, so they have a lot of hunting mental stimulation and exercise from that. They like to climb, they like to scratch, they like to run around, and they like to hide and feel safe. So we have to move these traits indoors. And the first thing that we'll talk about is scratching. And all cats scratch is a natural instinct and it's really great for them. It's a natural stress reliever. They do it to mark their territory. They do it to shed dead layers of their claws. And they also do it when they're excited. So it's a really, really great thing when your cat scratches. And Jericho just recently got a new scratcher called Perfect Post. This is made by a veterinarian that's actually trying to prevent the declawing of cats. Please don't declaw your cat. It's a very horrendous procedure. Scratching is a natural thing that we should encourage our cats to do. And Jericho loves his scratcher. He also has a carpet scratcher in this room. And he also has a cat ladder, which has carpet, scratch-friendly carpet on each step. And that brings me to the next cat essential, which is very tall, climbable cat condos or trees. So the cat ladder is very large. It's very tall. It has six steps. So Jericho can run up and down. And cats really like to be up high because then they can survey their territory. Yes, your home is your cat's territory. It doesn't belong to you. It's his territory. And they like to do this because they like to survey their territory from up high. That way they can cover a lot of distance. They do this outside so that they can protect themselves and feel safe. So they want to do that inside as well. As an added bonus, you can put the condo or the tree next to the window. This provides endless entertainment. Even if your view stinks, cats love looking outside. Actually, when I was a cat sitter, one of the cats was sitting in the window looking outside and the view was literally the building across the alleyway. So it wasn't like pretty trees and a park. It was another building. And across the, across the way, another cat was sitting in the window looking out. So there's always something to look at other cats, birds, leaves, bugs. There's always something to look at outside and that will provide endless entertainment to your cat. By the way, I'll put all links to all of Jericho's supplies in the description below. And that brings me to the next cat essential, which I love, is called the window perch. And I really like this because it doesn't take up a lot of floor space. So this is really great for small spaces. The cat ladder also, it only takes about like two feet of floor space. So it's really great. So the window perch that we have has two metal legs that stick to the window perch and up against the wall. And then hook loop fastening strip that goes on the window sill and holds the window perch in place. And I like this because you don't need any power tools. You don't have to make any holes. It literally just sticks on the window sill. And I put it over the condo for added support. It also comes with memory foam and a removable washable cover, which is great. Next cat essential that your cat will love is his own cat beds. Even if your cat cuddles in bed with you every night, Jericho cuddles with me every time I lay down. He loves sleeping with me in bed. But having cat private cat beds is super important because it can provide a nice hiding spot and it can provide a comfy area for him to nestle up and, and you know, hold in that warmth maybe while you're at work or out with people. And maybe if your friends come over and they need a place to go and hide and be comfy until they're comfortable with the situation, the bed will provide that for you. And I like this bed, well, provide that for your cat. I like this bed because it folds down so Jericho can lay like this. It also folds up so it's kind of like an enclosed area. In the morning, he likes to lay like this. And in the afternoon, he he goes in inside and kind of bumps it up himself if I'm not around. The next cat essential that is super important and unfortunately overlooked 
is the litter box. Cats are very clean creatures. Just think of how many times a day your cat cleans himself and they prefer and deserve a clean bathroom just like all of us. You know, cats don't want to walk around on pee-pee and poopy litter. And a clean litter box can help prevent stress, help prevent behavior issues, and can also help prevent health issues. Because if you think about it, if the cat isn't comfortable using the box, he's going to find somewhere else to go. And this is stressful, and it can cause behavior issues for your cat because he's stressed. And it can cause health issues because maybe he doesn't feel comfortable going into the litter box or outside the litter box because cats don't want to soil their environment. They're very clean creatures, again. So what I do is scoop after Jericho goes every single time he goes, that way, when he enters the litter box, it's always clean. And I also clean it out completely once a week. I spend about five minutes a week doing this, and I'll put that video in the description below. The next cat essential is cat toys, my favorite. I love playing with cats when I worked as a cat sitter. So many people, so many clients would say, my cat doesn't play with me like that. Oh my gosh. Really, all you need is the right toys, a lot of creativity, and patience. The indoor version of hunting is playing, so we have to apply that logic when we play with our cats. Jericho's favorite toys are the Ripple Rug, which is more of an activity mat. It's very large, and it serves multiple purposes. He can scratch, rest on it, he can hide inside the ripples, and he can play with it. So I hide toys and treats inside the ripples, which is extra mental stimulation, encourage that hunting behavior. I also tease toys around it so that he can kind of study it like he would study prey, you know, figure out the best time to pounce, pounce, and then catch and kill. That's how you complete the hunting experience. He also loves the kitty whip wand, which is completely upcycled. It's made of wood and cotton. So I use that with just the whip itself. Jericho loves chasing it and catching it. It kind of looks like a mouse tail, so it makes sense. And when I want to switch it up, I'll tie a toy around it. We use wool balls and fur stuff and, you know, a lot of natural materials because they're safer and cats are also naturally attracted to them. Jericho loves rabbit fur toys. They're so soft and he really loves to bunny kick them. <laughs> Now I hear you saying my cat isn't interested in playing and I have an entire video that covers how I get Jericho to play with me every single day over meow. Thanks for watching.